in the upper right starting location. Our Stamina Terran, a.k.a. the Energizer Bunny. I love that nickname, Artosis, that you gave him. You're welcome. Connect pound. Not the best pound in the world. No, not the best fist pound. I'm actually pretty good at fist pounds. I don't really do the fist pound that much. No, no, you don't. You're not a fist pound. I bump chests. I, I butt heads. <laughs> like a ram. Vying for a mate. In the bottom right, our Protoss player from the same team as Bjorn. He is... Tenex Puzzle. They should have made more complicated pieces. Put them together. Mm-hmm. That's what I would have done. Are you good at Rubik's Cubes, Artosis? No, I'm, I'm quite terrible, but uh, actually my older brother has a theorem named after him. There's a Stamkowski theorem of Rubik's Cube. Really? Something I've been doing with Rubik's Cubes. Yeah, he's a, he's a doctor of mathematics. Damn. Yeah. That's pretty sick. Yeah, I always sucked at uh, Rubik's Cubes. I know. He's but I'm about as good as you can get. I'm going to just figure there's some guide you can get on the internet and just see it tell you what to do for certain patterns. Then I'm gonna have. Yeah. I'm gonna be amazingly good at this useless skill. Oh yeah, yeah. Uh, if you actually want to learn that taste, I'll hook you up with my brother, man. He he knows right. every group of size it. and all their algorithms. Hey, no, actually, I'm, I'm gonna take back what I said. Is people think that having a Rubik's cube solving skill is useless, but in fact, I'm gonna bring that Rubik's cube to the club, Artosis. Oh yeah. I'm gonna solve that in front of the ladies, get laid. That's what I'm gonna be doing. I Artosis. believe that too, man. That Me is Me and impressive. my wingman Rubik's cube. You just like. It's all messed up, and everyone's looking at it, they're like, no, no. And then you just like, twist it up real quick and finish it, and you're like, eh, and you throw it over your shoulder on the ground as if it wasn't anything to you. Exactly. That's how you do it. That's how you do it. That's a sick good build order. Yeah, it really is. All right, the probe is now getting inside, and he sees the reactor. He also uh, sees a second barracks. And that's actually a lot of information. I don't know if the strategy is one that's supposed to work if the Protoss scouts it. Well, you know, it, it's pretty solid. It'll, you'll be pretty much safe against everything, but how will he react to it? Because obviously you're going to have to make more units. Uh, most likely your opponent won't cancel it. He might go for like a quicker Nexus or a third barracks because you saw the two barracks, and normally two barracks is just a pressure build into expand. But uh, what will he do here? One of my favorite things to do against it. No, he... Hold on one second. He showed the tech lab. Is he going to cancel it? No, I don't think nope. he'll cancel All right. it. It's always the chance. Yeah. Always the chance to do something tricky. It's oftentimes quite be smart. Be a sneaky snake. Yeah. Now, uh, there's a lot of different things that you can do against this. You can go, you know, three gate. You can go four gate. You can get a quick robo and get out an immortal to help out. You can go ahead and uh, rush to DTs as well. You have to be a little bit careful with that. It, it gets a little bit sketchy and dicey as they're attacking you. You have to make sure you don't get it too quick. But uh, the delayed command center really helps out with that. So, Which build will Puzzle go with here? Looks like he's going with 3-gate. Good choice. Yeah, 3-gate's fine in this yeah. situation. Yeah, 3-gate is like a 4-gate that's economical. It's not all in. Well, the thing about the 3-gate is that it's safe. Yes. Especially against the guy who's gotten two barracks. It's safe against almost everything. You're basically matching your opponent's uh, army. Yeah. Well, now the uh, stalker being driven out right now. Concussive Terran. shells are complete. And every once in a while, uh, Protoss can slip up and lose if he just like you know loses like two sentries or anything like that or mm. force fields wrong. So you got to oh be very God. careful. Oh, two more. He's going four sentries right now. It's really cool. It shows a lot of confidence in his force fielding. Yeah, no kidding. We've seen, you know, another protoss that we see do things like that is Young Haw. These guys are just so confident they're force fields. They're like, no, I can just get sentries and live through this. Because if, and here's here's why it's risky, guys. If you miss your force fields at all, and they kill those sentries off, you're way behind. Way, yeah. way. That's 400 gas he spent. Now 600 gas he spent on sentries. That and losing that, you're going to have to remake them, or you're going to have a much weaker army. And that's that'll cost you tech time. That'll cost you upgrades. Because gas is a hard resource to get. So... Shows a lot of confidence it's, to play It's like actually this. exactly why whenever we see these games, or actually just a tip for you guys when you're laddering, um, if you get in a little skirmish and let's say the Protoss is running away and you know the Marauders uh, can pick off a certain number of units, shoot down the sentries. Oh, absolutely. Get the sentries. Sentries are almost always what you want to kill. Not always, but almost always. 
and a pressure coming up. I don't think it'll do too, too much here. Well, he is making another pile on there, so he might actually be trying to go for a bus. Is he pulling mm, a actually, Chrono Boost? Oh my god, yeah. Yeah, it looks like he is. And beautiful force fields there. Definitely going to break through this bunker, Tasteless, and this is going to be pretty hard to hold for now. Deal definitely dealing a lot of damage, and I'm actually surprised I just looked over. He did not start Stim. So he is not going to have Stim anytime soon. And without Stim, you're going to have a hard time as long as he has force field energy. Which he doesn't have a whole lot of still. Yeah, not a ton. He is chrono boosting his gateways back at home. He did not ever end up transferring probes uh, to his Nexus. And as I say that, he just now got the probes there. But the attack is going to continue. Now, he doesn't have a ton of force fields left over, so he's got to be careful. Mm -hmm. Definitely now, dance for both players here. And it's really important to note that actually uh, he doesn't know that um, Beyond doesn't have Sim either. He might be expecting uh, Beyond to have Sim anytime soon. Just hasn't uh, pulled the trigger yet. Well, I love this. Look at him picking off that bunker. Nice. Very nice moves, but those force fields maybe not the absolute best. Zealot's really being quite useless here as uh, anything other than uh, soaking up some damage. Very nice control yeah, here. He actually might it. just bust through here. I don't think he could be stopped at this point in time. Wow, yeah, you're right, Tasteless. Yun is in trouble. He doesn't think this is any Fion. <laughs> well, um, wow, Fion is going to be uh, in an almost impossible to recover from situation right now. SC needs to be taken out. Now, uh, Protoss may have overstepped himself a little bit here, but don't forget he can keep yeah. on warping in units. Well, at this point, it doesn't even really matter. Even if he loses all these units, he is so far ahead. We have 14 SMEs against 40 probes. He could actually bring his probes over and finish off Bion. And GG, Bion playing a little bit too risky there. Sat there with one bunker, no stim upgrade. And, well, Puzzle rolls him over for it. And Bion, surprisingly, after finishing top four and buying a cute puppy, he is now going to the up and down matches. I cannot believe it. This always happens every season. There's always, There's always great players that do unbelievably this. Unbelievably good player, such as Bion, that yeah, now man. has to just uh, well, go into the up and down matches. He's joining he... MC in the up and down. He's joining yeah. Alicia in the up and down. These are some great players. Code S is ridiculously unforgiving. And as you can see, Puzzle, being Beyond's teammate, goes and never rubs his shoulders. Well, can Puzzle keep the hope for Protoss and Code S alive and uh, become, I think, only Huck, I think, is the only Protoss that's made it into the round of 16 so far. Am I wrong? Um, I think I'm right. Pretty sure I'm I right. I think you're Don't correct. Don't counteract me, Tasteless. I won't. Uh, I would never undermine you in public artosis. Thank you. Now... All right, Nerf Zerg. For Furo Noobs? For I don't know. Um, <laughs> we're gonna have the little revenge match. Puzzle talked a lot of trash on ASD, man, and ASD was like, "Uh, uh, I'm going two on getting in." Well, he went one one so far, so almost. I think Puzzle can still do it. Yeah, I still think Puzzle's gonna get out. I I really feel like he's uh, a better player than ASD, but. ASD did play a really great game. He did. He really uh, did. Against Puzzle. You know, uh, I, I don't know because that game was really well done, but I'm feeling Puzzle still. I, if I had to bet money right now, I'd bet on Puzzle. Yeah, yeah. I just, Puzzle's got the reputation. He's that good. But look, ASD did play a great game. Even that uh, Terran versus Zerg, he really put up quite a fight against Xenio. ASD's showing a lot of skill, man. Yeah. He's definitely no pushover. He will be in Code S next season regardless of the outcome of this game, as will Puzzle. Uh, hmm. 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 Round row. Yep. Well, we're going to have a quick little break here. Um, so don't go too far away. Because we're going to be back with our final game of group, this group, Group E. And after that, we have one more group to do. So don't go too far away. This is the GSL. <laughs> 